A winning football team is good at many physical and mental characteristics. An effective Christian is good with similar spiritual characteristics. In this Football Faith episode, let's explore courage. The Freddies, after a long run by McManus, were unable to get a first down and settle for a field goal by Daly giving them a 17-15 lead over the Scots. The Scots get the ball with 1 minute and 25 seconds left at their 10-yard line after the holding penalty with three timeouts remaining. The Scots need to go about 60 yards to get into long field goal range for Kraviak. Scots break the huddle in a pro-left formation with a split end to the right, flanker and tight end to the left, split backfield. Freddie's showing man coverage and blitz. Gray takes the snap, looking right, throws a post to Woods who makes a great catch and pays a price as Overholt puts on a hard hit. That had to hurt. Woods showed tremendous courage taking a hard hit and holding onto the ball after a gain of 15 yards. The Scots call their first time out. The post or five route was ran two different ways. The first way, the flanker runs a curl route. Tight end goes to the flat and split end runs up the field, then breaks towards the middle at a 45 degree angle. The quarterback takes a five step drop and throws the ball after the receiver changes direction to the 45 degree angle. The second way, everything is similar except the split end ran a quicker post at a 30 degree angle and the halfback goes into the flat and up the field receiving the pass. The post route run for this play was good against man coverage and no free safety it is also good against the blitz when the line gives the quarterback time. The skilled players need to run good routes with the quarterback throwing the ball accurately and on time. Let's look at Joshua becoming leader after Moses in Be Strong and Courageous. Moses had lived 120 years as he had led Israel for 40 years. But because of a moment of anger, Moses was not permitted to enter the promised land. Joshua would become the leader as God would go before and destroy the nations so the land can be taken. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the sight of all Israel, Be strong and courageous. For you shall go with this people into the land that the Lord has sworn to their fathers to give them, and you shall put them in possession of it. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. After Moses' death, the Lord gave Joshua instructions including, Be strong and courageous, for you shall cause his people to inherit the land that I swore to their fathers to give them. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. There is more detail of this time in history in the concentration episode. But related to this history, the journey to the promised land would normally be 11 days but the Israelites' unbelief and following ten spies with disbelief made it 40 years, a year for each day the Promised Land was spied on. Only Caleb and Joshua, along with those now under age 60, could enter the Promised Land. The same challenges existed 40 years later. There were highly defended cities like Jericho, giants existed, and people perceived them as stronger than them. But this new generation would be the one to go take possession of the land promised to them by God. It would take courage and belief to conquer the challenges ahead. Just as Joshua was told to have courage, so are we. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who hope in the Lord. Joshua showed courage. Moses showed courage. David and others showed courage. Be encouraged by these words from David to his son Solomon. Be strong and courageous and act. Do not fear nor be dismayed. For the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not fail you 
nor forsake you until all the work for the service of the house of the Lord is finished. In football, some plays like the post require a player to have courage and not fear a potential hard hit. Fear sends us to the valleys, but courage sends us to the mountaintops. All of us will have times in our lives where we will have to choose between fear and courage. What will you choose? The history of the Israelites in the wilderness shows us where most of the people lack courage, resulting in 11 days turning into 40 years of being in the wilderness. But later, the Israelites showed courage and would take control of the Promised Land. In the Wizard of Oz movie, the lion was called cowardly. The wizard tells the lion to drink, saying it is courage. After this drink, the lion becomes bolder and more confident and not fearful. We don't have to take a drink to get courage. We can get it by asking our Father in Heaven for courage. Being a Christ follower is an act of courage in a world filled with evil. If you haven't accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, be courageous and make today your day of salvation now by clicking on the Salvation Prayer video to shortly follow. God bless you.